uh, unfortunately, there are more than 10 million persons in this earth cannot hear. Welcome everyone today here. I'm going to talk about the hearing impaired solutions. So I'm going to start with this image. Probably anyone who knows me 10 years ago, he would recognize me well. Uh, I'm sorry. This guy over here. So I went through a life journey changing experience. This life changing experience wasn't easy. I changed a lot of things in my life. One of them, I was really in debt. I had financial problems and I had around 1,700,000 uh, in debt, Qatar Real. So it was really big. And, uh, and I was also 175 kilos. So I went through a lot of changing experience. And, and this is a, a big problem in my life. And here I experienced something and I, I, noticed, I noticed a lot about leadership. I studied leadership. I studied how to change myself as a leader to lead myself before leading others. Uh, here are some of my books. I've written some books. Uh, I have around 75 books in leadership. Those books were in Arabic because I wanted to try to transfer the knowledge, whatever I learned, to bring it to our nation over here and distribute it to our people. Uh, I'm doing training. Uh, I had a problem in my way, in my journey. I had a foot injury. This foot injury led me to something really beautiful. So that's why I call problems are opportunities. I always say problems are opportunities. Why I said that this foot injury was a really something nice in my life? Because I, I discovered a very beautiful world that I couldn't know anything about it. This world is full with disability puzzles, the disabled people. And those disabled people are really uh, unknown world for me. And when I went through this uh, experience, I figured out that there are around 100, almost 50 or 150 million people on this earth having disabled, uh, or they call them people with disabled, with disabilities, and these disabilities are different. Every disabled person has different needs, has different uh, issues that he needs to face and to change so he can live exactly like the way that we are living today. Uh, I went to disability societies. Something happened to me. Um, I wanted to go to a parking, to, the, to one of the malls. I wanted to go to the bathroom. Uh, and I was driving my car. I had my wheelchair next to me. So I needed the handicaps spot. And somebody with a luxury car just came and took the parking. That was like uh, eight years ago and people were not really aware about the rights of disabled people. I was really angry. And what happened is I decided to give a leadership program for those disabled people, so I met uh, anyone who is in, leadership, in, in, in a leadership position with the uh, disability societies in Qatar, and I set up a program called Idad Qadam in Dawil Iaqa, preparing leaders from those who are disabled, from people with disabilities. We invited different kinds of disability uh, uh, people, like deaf uh, people who are having uh, 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 blind blindness and uh, the ones who are on wheelchair or having movement uh, problems. Uh, I succeeded with most of the people who attended this program course. It was a six months course, and I failed with the deaf people. I didn't know why I failed, although I had uh, sign language translators. They were sitting next to me. They were translating whatever I said to the diff. But there was something strange about it. So I went and searched again about what is it exactly, what is the problem, why did they not understand what I'm saying. So I decided to do a full training course just for diff. I called it diff leaders. So I invited them to this program. I sat with them. I, st I tried to study them closely. So what happens with deaf people? They can see those speakers over here. They would understand that these are speakers. They would see a remote control. They will know that this is a remote control and they will give it a sign. But there are like thousands of words that has no thing that you can visualize. Like for example, when you say it's important, 
The word important, it's easy, right? كلمة مهم. You can understand important. Can you show me important? Yeah, exactly. It's, it's not easy to show someone this word. For example, ambitious. Priorities, when you say for someone, you have to do your priorities list. It's not easy. Yeah, exactly, that's the sign of priorities. So, uh, but those, pe those kids and those deaf people cannot understand the language. I figured that there is a big gap between them and us. Uh, why we did it's shame for humanity with all this technology that we reach today, that we, we still left them behind us. So I figured that there is a big room of innovation over here. I started, uh, there is something wrong with, with the video. So what I started to do is I tried to, to develop a robot. I came out with the idea of robots. This robot will help the impaired kids, the hearing impaired kids, to learn new signs by a screen. So um, I'm going to show you. This is a photo of the robot. It's called C Do. So I called it C Do. Uh, today, any kid around the world can have access to a new way of technology, a new database of la learning sign language. The old way how today people are learning sign language is they have old books and full with photos. For example, in Arabic, the sign of muhim, important, is like this. So it is, it is important. Uh, so how many, how many motions do I have? This is one, two, three, four, five. So if you just imagine you have a book of dictionary and you are going to learn the kid the word important, you'll have like five different photos. So you'll end up with a big dictionary and kids will be really scared of it. It's not easy to have these kind of, uh, of, of, of pictures and photos for all different kinds of words, especially the main words. And that's why we invented a database. This database is used to and in this system, there is a website here. It's called diffpedia.net. What is diffpedia? It's a cyclopedia that we merge and combine all different kinds of sign languages in any language of the world, uh, in, in the world. Like, for example, English sign language, Arabic sign language, Chinese sign language. And we put them in a database. And with this database, there is a character that we invented. Uh, and this character will be using the signs I hope the people in, 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 technic, in technical area or the ones who are with the laptop with the presentation can play the video because it will help them a lot to understand what I'm talking about. So uh, what happened is, is you choose this avatar and you try to move and do the signs and then you save it as a video. And in this avatar, it will be easy for you to add new words and link these words to different kinds of signs. Today, with this database, you don't need this big dictionary that has like thousands and millions of photos to explain words for those who doesn't know sign language. And it is really important to have something digital that will take X, Y, Z dimensions because Without the X, Y, Z dimensions, if we took, you know, your no, more normal uh, mobile phones, it will not take X, Y, Z dimensions. What it will take, it's called RGB, red, green, blue. So when you go to the robot, the robot won't understand the normal photos. Like, for example, if I recorded a video of this, of this motion or this sign, and I say this is Muhammad, the robot won't understand it. It won't be able to copy it. You know why today we don't have deaf people with us? Because we don't have sign language translators. It is very costly to get them over here. And it is not easy to have them also by, by for example, if we want a sign, language, a sign language translator that will translate English. He's different. He needs different skills than sign language translators who's, who, who has Ar Arabi so, or Chinese. Or even Arabi Saudi is different than Arabi Qatari, than, than, Qatar, than Arabi Egyptian. It's, it's really dif different. We have some signs and words that they don't have them. So with this database, we can unlock them a picture of a table or a tree, but you can't bring them a picture of ambition.
The idea of the robot was to communicate in sign language with children and to teach them new words and gestures. <laughs> So this was the beginning of the idea how uh, uh, I got it and uh, what happened is after that I started do developing this robot and uh, today this robot has an alpha version I got international uh, awards recognition it's because of the database that we created today this database will give it will enable thousands of people around the world to see a new science to understand the new signs. Imagine that somebody is wearing augmented reality today with us. Because of this database, from this glass, he will have an auto translator. There, there was a video a uh, few years ago that somebody was trying to cheat in sign language translation online. Uh, somebody was talking and they had somebody who was dancing doing signs. All these kind of different fake sign language translators who takes thousands of dollars per hour they will be uh, doing really good job, focusing on upgrading their dictionaries. And this example over here, we are trying also to have new solutions, like for example, teaching deaf people to talk. In this example, if they can play it, I'm not sure. Uh, in this example, we are trying to help deaf people to use their sound system by pronouncing letters through games. So, for example, you play Super Mario, and when you say, ah, you don't need joystick, it's with your voice, Super Mario will run. So, if you need Super Mario to jump, there is a, a big uh, hole. If he didn't jump, he's going to fall and he's going to fail. So, you need Super Mario to jump. So, you need to say, ah, ba. So, if you say, ba, he's going to jump. And you say, if you want, like, to jump in two holes, You'll say, ba, ba. So, congratulations, that's the first word. It means father. So, when it means father, you are teaching this kid to learn. We are working on solutions that will enable those people. That's why we came out with uh, Abilitics. Abilitics is an organization that will help disabled people using technology and enabling them by preventing and providing them a lot of access of all, kind, of all different kinds of databases around the world, of research, uh, uh, people who are interested in technologies, people who are interested in, in data mining and, and things that are related to disabled people. We have a mission to be the leader organization, Ubering all different stakeholders around disabled people. We want to integrate disabilities uh, solutions and technologies with governments, with uh, creating a groups that will figure out how they can use. I, I have one of my friend, of my friends. His name is Abdul Aziz. Abdul Aziz has a very uh, strange disease called MS, multiple sclerosis. So this uh, disease, he started a community. The community wanted to learn from each other. Because of abilities today we can enable those people to match and, exp and, change, uh, and exchange experience together. We have a big number of, of people. We have 34% of humanity. They are affected by, dis by people next to them who have disabilities. 18% of people are disabled. The more we live, the more we have chance to get disabled. So uh, this is what we are trying to play around. And in this area, we have uh, the advantage of being the first entry of the, of the market. And, and I think we can have a lot of people joining us. Uh, what we have here, we are providing a, a big room of innovation, a big room for R&D, research and development. I can see a lot of people are uh, going to watch this uh, show, and most of them are students. I invite the students to do more research on disabled uh, uh, people. People with disabilities has a, a very rare number of research. We didn't give them enough time. And all of that happened because uh, I got this foot injury. I didn't expect that this world were left behind. 
Although if we see old people as well, they are having more disabilities in the, in, within our families, within our people, like grandfathers, grandmothers, all this. We need to prepare ourselves to be there one day. Actually, we are going to be there one day. So the more we spend and we give uh, of, of efforts to uh, support those guys, uh, we will be uh, gaining at the end. Uh, one of the things as well, we want to link disabled people together. We want to put them in groups to, so they can exchange a lot of information uh, between them and to also their families, actually. Imagine today you are 40 years old, 35. Why would you learn sign language? You don't need to learn sign language because you are not using it. But just imagine that you got a kid who has a hearing impaired issues, a kid who is disabled. So you will be forced to learn sign language. What are you going to do? How you are going to deal with your kid? How you are going to... Uh, what, what, what exactly you're going to do? You, you have a lot of psychological issues that you're going to go through. So with those groups, it will help you and it will be a good story for you guys. Uh, I'm, I'm going to give you the website. Our website is abilitics.com. We are inviting you guys to be part of our journey. We want you to be uh, helping us distributing this important message. We want everyone who is in research and R&D, anyone who is working in an organization, we want you guys to enable everything for those unenabled people, the ones who have disabilities to continue their journey. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.